Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to be doing the classic getting rid of the kitchen door jam. For some reason, back in the day, they loved doors in the kitchen. But we don't like that anymore, and we're going to get rid of them. I'm going to show you how. Let's get to it. So first we're going to get rid of this old casing and door jam. So let's cut the caulk line on the casing so we don't tear up the wall. After the casing's off, we can pull the door jam. After we get the jam out and all the nails pulled, let's go ahead and scrape the heavy caulk lines that we've got here. Alright, after we're all cleaned up, we're going to measure the width of our wall. Outside drywall to outside drywall. I've got four and five eighths. I'm going to cut some four and five eighths rips of drywall and screw them to the jam. Now we're going to put this metal corner bead on for drywall. Run the top first and I've got this little tab run a little long. So this edge is going to be short and I'm going to tuck the side up under this little flare tip. Cut it with your snips. Slip it up behind it, just like so. Now you just want to float these corners on there. If you force it, it's going to get all wavy and, and humpy. You don't want that because when we mud it, we need it to be nice and smooth. You can even send them in a little farther than the surface. See how I got this little rise right there? I want to make sure all these get good and secured. After our corners are secured, I'm going to use some green top and get it mudded. Now when you're mudding a corner, the idea of the corner is to take this edge of the knife and this edge of the knife and fill in everything else. You can see uh, the small gap in between the corners as I go down. All that is going to be filled. So you're going to put pressure on the corner here and put pressure on the corner here and fill everything else in. You can see right here that this is not secured all the way. So make sure you get those buttoned up. After I get the corner covered with my 6 inch, I pull out an 8 inch. Okay, that's a good first coat. Let's let that dry. And because we used the green top, probably going to need a whole day. Alright, day two. And now we're going to take our wide knife and we're going to scrape off all the little dimples that we had from yesterday. So we can get ready to put our second coat on. I also got the baseboards pulled all the way around because they used to stop right here where the casing was. But we're now going to need to run it to extend it, 45 of these on the outside corner, and then put a baseboard on the inside of the jam.
So that's it. I just got the second coat on. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna let that dry another day. After I get it sanded, I will come back with maybe some five minute mud and do a little touch up coat for any tiny tracks or imperfections that I have, but that should be the majority of the mudding. Get it sanded down and don't forget to complete your baseboard like I showed you. Or if you pull out a door jam, you are going to need to wrap the base around the new jam just to so it flows and everything looks right. So quit looking at that kitchen door that you hate. Get that thing pulled out of there because you know how to do it now. So for Home Ender, I'm Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.